Welcome back guys. Before we get started, I want to point something out. In the last video I did, um, we ran into an issue installing Java 8 and I said run command.run uh, yum install Java 8. Uh, I forgot to mention a flag. You need this hyphen y here uh, to automatically state, state, state yes. If you don't, then it's going to go ahead and um, just basically hang yes or no whenever you try to install a package and then salt gets stuck there and you'll never see it because it, it's not actually finishing. So be sure to add the hyphen Y uh, when installing a package with yum, especially if you're doing in command.run. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, there's this pane of notes on, my, on the right part of my screen right here. And I'm using this from now on to, to basically help me stay on topic throughout these videos. Um, if you look at here, you know, it says install file beat, there's needs refactoring, and then make sure the file beat server starts and so on. And all these needs refactoring, and I'll explain that in a little bit. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, to basically stay on topic. And not all of these will be checked off in, in one go. I mean, these, some of these may leak into the future videos and so on. But I'm going to go ahead and keep staying on these topic, uh, keep staying on these uh, bullet points or check marks and go from there. Now these notes may expand and contract depending on what we run into um, during our testing or deploying or writing our states and so on. And you know, if we discover something new that needs to be done, we'll have to add it into it here. So I use this for work uh, whenever I have, I basically just like set my tickets out for the day and then I use it for work. And that's basically, you know, my notes to for the stand up on what I need to get completed or what I have completed the previous day. So it's extremely helpful, and I figure why not use it here as well. I'm no way affiliated with the Bear um, app or whichever company this is actually part of. I don't even remember. Uh, it's 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 just Bear. So I'm not affiliated with them. It's just something I use already on a daily basis. So I'm just going to go ahead and incorporate it here. If you want to use this, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description regard on on where to get it and you guys can use it if you want. All right, so that now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and go back to what these needs refactoring are. If you look at our Elasticsearch file bead and so on, what we did was we basically said package install source into the RPM. However, that's great and all. So the, the, the issue is that I want to be able to upgrade these later in the future, and the best way to do that is if we already have the repo installed in our um, in our CentOS machines or Amazon Linux machines and so on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and add the repo onto these states. And I've got one of them pulled up here. This is for Kibana. I'm gonna go ahead and add this repo into the state. Now there is a salt state that manages just the repo, and that's one this one here. Now I know this first one says log stash PPA. I, I didn't write this. It was just a coincidence that it just happens to be log stash. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this state and hopefully I don't run into any bugs like Java 8 last time. I'm going to go ahead and use this state and manage the repos that way rather than having the, the custom file and use file.manage, which is perfectly fine if you want to do that. If you want to write a, a file and then put a file.manage here and put the contents of the file in, in, the, in the source file and you know, pointed to etc yum dot yum dot repos dot d. That's perfectly fine too. I just think if there's a state available that you know works, do it. If there isn't one, then find a way around. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and then basically fill in what I need from the uh, from the elk stack page. So. I've got that. Now this is for Elasticsearch, right? So let's go ahead and pull up the one for Elasticsearch. This is not Elasticsearch, this is Lostock. This is file beats, log stash, Elasticsearch. There it is. And there's a repo guide here. Of course. Here we go. All right. So the human name is going to be this Elasticsearch 5x, or we can just say Elasticsearch 5x packages. And we'll replace that. The mirror, the base URL, which is also the mirrorless, 
Actually, it's not the mirror list, it's just the base URL. Uh, there's no flag for base URL here. So let's see here. Pretty sure there's a flag for base URL. And then I'll get rid of the mirror list. And let me double check that here. So in the manage, not the absent. So in the managed, there is a base URL. Yep, see, I was right. Okay, so we've got the base URL. We don't need the comment. Uh, we could add a comment. This is for, you know, Elasticsearch 5x, yeah. Five dot x, and then there's a GPG key. I don't believe there was a GPG key here. Oh yes, there is. Let's say it's enabled and auto refresh. It is enabled. I don't think there's a flag for auto refresh, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that out. Yes, okay, there's no auto refresh, great. All right, so we will say GPG check one and then enabled true. It is true or false. All right, so now that we've got that, uh, let me make sure I'm not missing anything actually. So we've got auto refresh doesn't matter, type RPM doesn't matter. Um, so we've got all the essentials. Yeah, we've got all the essentials. So now that we've got that, we're gonna say this is gonna be a require in. Require in. And I believe there's an example for require in already here. I know I saw it. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we'll say it's pkg install Elasticsearch. Now we'll change this package.installed Packages elastic search. All right, that's I believe this the package name in this log. Yep, yeah, I'll install elastic search. Okay, great. All right. So this is this require in is a little new. I'm not sure if I've gone over it before. It's kind of like the wanted by um, or required flag. Uh, what this require in basically states is this. It's this particular state, this base state, which I'll rename in a second, is required for this particular package or a list of packages, perhaps. And in this case, it's just one. Um, so you have to be uh, you have to make sure that you get the class specified right. If it's a package, you know, if it says pkg dot whatever, then you have to do a package colon and then the name of the name of the state. Um, so be careful with that when you're going between package.installed or cmd.run. All right, so that basically, that basically explains that. Um, so that's one way of doing it. So the other way of doing it is if you do like the require, uh, if you do the required and then you say package repo base it's basically the same thing. So this this particular uh, state says that to install Elasticsearch, I need this base package repo. And the require in uh, states that this state is required for Elasticsearch. So either way, this one's gonna be installed first and this one's gonna be installed second. So let me rename this. I don't want to this to be called base. It's Elasticsearch. Repo. Okay. Now that we've got that out of the way, we need to do the same thing for all of them. Um, but I want to go ahead and make sure that this is actually right, that this is all I need. So I'm going to, so I saved this just now. I'm going to go ahead and run kitchen converge. This is an earlier one. So kitchen converge logger. And I'm going to pause here. And I'll get back to you guys when this is finished. 
Okay, so I'm back with the results. Uh, as expected, all Elasticsearch file being everything's already installed and it did install the repo, Elasticsearch repo. So we're good to go there. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for all of them. I don't know, I don't think there's no, there's no point in recording that since I'm basically doing the same thing for uh, all four of them, Elasticsearch, Falby, Kibana, and Logstash. Um, what I am going to do is when I get to the um, service part, and I'm going to make another video for this. When I get to the service part, I'm going to go ahead and um, start back up there. All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit.